Hey, uh, I, I've been getting a lot of requests on people unable to disable the UEFI on Windows 8. If you notice, this is a Windows 8 machine. It's got HP 2000. It's an HP 2000, so but this will work on any HP computer. What you need to do is, I'm going to show you guys what you're going to get when it's enabled, when the UEFI is enabled. If you notice, you click here, and you click Restart. Okay, when I click restart, uh, the system is going to restart. And I want you guys to pay attention to this corner here when the computer restarts. So, right now, you notice it's going to, it's not going to show you anything. Now, if so you look, look here, you see the HP and you see it booting. So, there's nothing here. Before this comes up, you should have, if the legacy boot option is enabled to boot from a flash drive, or to boot from a CD, this would this would uh, it would show, give you the option to press escape. But I'm going to show you guys how to get in there and how to uh, disable the UEFI and enable the legacy boot option. So what you need to do now is we need to click. Now what we need to do now is click on the desktop, and you're going to click on the shutdown button, and you're going to click the restart button but before you click the restart button you want to press and hold the shift key down and then if you notice over here now you're gonna click restart once you see this please wait and your fingers on the shift key you can remove it and the advanced option appears so now we're gonna choose an option here here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into troubleshoot and then we're gonna go into advanced options here now if you notice here there's a lot of options here what we're gonna concentrate on is the UEFI firmware settings what this is gonna do is gonna take us to uh, CMOS the CMOS settings so we click here now we click restart now it's gonna restart the computer Okay, notice here so now this the start menu comes up now we're gonna press F10 for BIOS so we'll press F10 on the keyboard now we're gonna be here on the okay now we're here on the CMOS the setup screen what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into uh, system configuration and we're gonna go to boot options here so under boot options if you notice the secure boot is enabled which is the UEFI option so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna enable legacy support so click select that so what you're gonna do is select it hit enter and then it's disabled by default so you wanna click enter to enable it and you're gonna say change the settings may affect the system which is what we want we, we wanna do that so now select yes and click enter you notice that this is uh, enabled now, the legacy app uh, support is enabled. Now what you want to do is you want to go down here to legacy boot order. Now if you're going to boot to a flash drive, you want to have that flash drive before you go to the screen so you can select that as your, uh, your uh, option on here, as your boot option. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the internal CD DVD ROM drive so we have a disk in here already so uh, you want to select if it's here what you do is uh, you press F6 to move that up that up or F5 to move it down so this you can move this order once you have it all set up which is what we do is we, we're gonna have the internal CD and DVD already set up this is disabled so now we're gonna do, we're gonna press F10 on the keyboard to save our settings or our changes so and then by default it's gonna say yes and what's gonna do is gonna prompt us to type in a, a, a code to save the settings if we don't type that code in uh, or press escape it's, gonna, it's not gonna save this so now we're gonna press yes now the system is gonna boot up and it's gonna tell us to press the code so now we're gonna enter this code our code is 0258 it's gonna generate a different code and we're gonna hit enter notice now it's gonna it change the, the the boot order now to legacy legacy is enabled on this machine now now it's booting up on some systems 
this computer will crash and it'll say it's no no bootable device found. But that's okay. Don't 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 freak out. It's just because you disable uh, the UEFI uh, boot option. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, we're gonna go back here and we're just gonna click uh, restart. Okay. So uh, okay now what since I'm booting to a disk, I, I created a Windows Seven. Uh, home premium disk here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the drive insert it now I know that I have a bootable device on the on the drive so now what we're gonna do is gonna click here on the keyboard on the desktop again okay now that we have inserted the disk uh, the bootable disk in here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the desktop we're gonna click on the start button we're gonna click restart but remember when you click restart you have to be fast because the option to press escape to change the boot order is going to come up or else it's going to boot right to the to windows 8 again so click restart now it's restarting it's going to do it really quick so be ready to press escape for this system this system uh, hp has that so notice the option is going to come up here right here press escape notice that now it says pause startup has been enabled because i pressed escape that's on an HP machine. That's how they're they're, they're designed to to work. Uh, other manufacturers are probably gonna work differently. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go p here and, and select the boot device option, which is F9. So we press F9. Now, if you notice, we have our our boot option here, and it has our internal. Uh, it has the DVD drive. It has the this option what you want to do is you want to go to the second one boot from EFI okay now you're at the, at the boot menu uh, or boot manager now if you notice if you select the very first internal DVD you notice how it has a UEFI option you don't want to do that you want to go to the second option boot from EFI file that means it's your legacy boot so notice it has a hard drive and has a CD uh, drone drive that we selected so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press select that and we're gonna hit enter and uh, it's gonna give us the option to boot right now it's gonna read the disk and it's gonna say hit any key so now it's reading the disk notice how it's saying Windows is loading so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna stop it now so now you know that it's actually gonna go back in there and it's gonna load Windows uh, we're gonna be able to install Windows uh, 7 on this computer now. You can install pretty much any operating system you want, kind of how you did with Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows Vista. But this is just to show you how to disable that and how to uh, select a legacy boot on an HP machine. If you have another type of uh, computer, I would suggest you uh, look it up but if this video helped you in any way, we would like for you to subscribe to our channel. Uh, click like on the video. And if you have any comments, questions, just uh, type them up uh, below. And then we would approve it. And we will um, uh, appreciate it. And we can actually put more videos up for you. Again, uh, this is just to show you how to boot to Windows 7. But before you do that, you might want to create restore disk for this uh, for that system. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another video on how to create the Windows 8 restore disk for this HP 2000 machine. But this is going to work on any HP machine. The 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 way it's going to uh, you're going to restore it back. Okay. Again, this is just to show you this this part on how to disable the UEFI uh, option. Okay?